All right, guys, we're going to have two videos rolled into one today because they decided to patch literally as I was making another video. So this update is pretty short, but it's very impactful. The first section under balancing adjusted the spawn rates and various hazard planets, including tremors, meteor showers, volcanic activity, fire tornadoes, and ion storm. They reduced the explosion radius. They reduced the damage of the meteor slightly. They reduced the meteor velocity slightly. And the color has been changed to make it easier to spot. And those same changes are across all the hazard planets. So basically uh, a bit of a nerf to the environment. Not really sure how I feel about that. I didn't think that the meteors and the hazard planets were that much of a problem i mean i th thought it was kind of funny to see your teammate you know just randomly get like, exploded but i mean i guess people didn't like that for some reason but i mean okay reduce the incidence of patrols spawning on players now this is something that a lot of you guys have seen so far where you're just running around and all of a sudden a random squadron of chargers or automatons just spawns right in front of you and then proceeds to do the tactical two-step over your dead body. So I'm glad that's no longer a thing. And here's the bigger one. The exosuit no longer destroys itself when firing a missile while turning. So I know a lot of you guys were getting your exosuits. We were getting so excited. It was so cool and badass. We were killing all the bugs and we would try to shoot our rocket as we're swiveling and we would instantly explode because the, the model of the missile collided with the housing of the rockets. So they fixed that. Um, I'm not quite sure how that didn't show up in testing when they were, you know, making it, but hey, it's fixed. One more thing about the EXO. It can remain its melee functionality. How many people even knew that the exosuit could melee? Well, funny story about that. When you call in your exosuit, it takes fall damage. When it takes fall damage, it's very slight, but you can no longer melee. This, is, this was before when it took fall damage. So that's why barely anyone got to use the melee ability, but there is a stomp with it. It's the F key if you're on PC, whatever your melee button is on the controller, that's that's what it will be. So yeah, um, we can melee now. Neat. And a lot of other crashes and other fixes were mentioned. So they did say that a known issue was the exosuits will sometimes be delivered in a broken or damaged state. So that is a known problem. This is just, you know, a temporary solution. So eventually we'll get fully healthed exosuit and not slightly damaged. And that's kind of the end of the fixes in the patch. Nothing really to go over, nothing crazy going on. Let me know down below what you guys think of the patch. Now going on to the actual video that I wanted to do, I wanted to talk about this current major order against the Terminate. We have less than two days to take multiple planets. If you didn't know, there's a game master called Joel. He is the commander in chief in charge of these uh, multiplayer operations and, you know, giving the AI buffs, giving them like nerfs for various planets and everything and kind of making our jobs harder or easier. And right now he has a major order that is currently up to kill the Terminates and take back these planets. But I don't think we have enough time. Keep in mind that this is not the weekend anymore. People have work, people have school, yada yada. Um, and we don't have six days. The operation started with three days and we already lost a day already. So I think we are probably going to lose this one. Um, we're going to try, you know, as hell divers do, we are going to try, but I don't think it's going to go very well for us. Now, if you don't know, when we lose a major order, they do have consequences. It affects the overall stage of the game. If we win, if we lose, etc. So I think Joel is setting us up for a loss. Well, it's possible that we, we could win, but more than likely, there's like a 90% chance we're going to lose. And I think by losing, something is going to happen soon. Very soon. That's kind of the main thing I want to talk about was uh, be prepared to lose again. And we've only lost twice so far. We've lost against the automatons once. We've lost against the, well, we're more than likely going to lose this one. So those are going to have consequences at some point. So I've been told. That's kind of all I want to talk about for this video. Definitely leave a like and subscribe if you found any of this information helpful. And I'll see you on the battlefield.